so it save our uh, bandwidth. But uh, oh, yes, oh, you record. Oh, oh, you record. Uh, you, you record in live streaming, right, Fina? Okay. Yeah. So we can share to other students uh, who cannot join this uh, afternoon. Okay, I think we can start. Student, uh, please open your camera uh, if possible. Um, but uh, sorry, I'm uh, joined with hand uh, my smartphone. Uh, don't uh, uh, please allow me to open the uh, session first, and then I will uh, give the time to you. Yeah. And Pak Seto, are you, are you join this session, Pak Seto? Because Pak, Pak Seto is uh, our coordinator uh, for the Global Signature Course. I think Pak Seto is already uh, joined. And... Yes, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, Pak Don, thank you. Good afternoon, and sir. It's been a pleasure. Um, I'm glad so that everyone, you know, a lot of students turn out in the sessions. I'm hoping that we we'll have a good session today. Great. Thank you. Ya, yeah, thank you, thank you, Pak Seto. Pak Seto is our coordinator who work hard to prepare everything in Global Signature Course. And uh, for this session, uh, we have more uh, around uh, 10, ya, Pak, ya? 10 uh, lecture that participate in this Global Signature Course. And some of them is with Mapua. I think what Mapua is also one of the active Uh, partner in uh, global signature course activity. Okay, uh, student, uh, good afternoon. Please introduce my name is Diana. I'm the faculty for the consumer uh, in the faculty of uh, business and management and also lecture in the consumer behavior. And I'm also the director of the digital campus. I mean that digital campus in new, new unit in Esa Unggul who uh, offering the full degree program in Esa Unggul. So uh, today's session, uh, actually we will have two sessions for this uh, Global Signatures course series in consumer behavior. And today the presenter is from uh, Mr. Don Thomas from Mapua. And uh, next week we will have the second round and I will uh, to be the presenters. Okay, I think uh, uh, we hope that you are active participate in the session. Uh, be, please be curious and share your uh, perspective because I think, uh, yeah, uh, I think is it uh, uh, in, yeah, suitable for our class. Uh, we talking about uh, close course culture uh, in consumer behavior. So I think everyone can uh, share this perspective. How, what is the same? What is the difference uh, between Indonesian Philippines? And also, actually, we have a tricolor present yeah, with the Egypt, uh, uh, Kalala University from Egypt. Okay, I think without uh, further ado, please, uh, Mr. Don Thomas, you can present your uh, material and then I will uh, have uh, as a moderator to uh, a QA session. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Diana. Good afternoon, Mr. Seto. Good afternoon, student from Esaunggul, from Kalala University and from Mapua University. Good afternoon to you. So today we'll be discussing about more on This is what we call the Global Signature Goal Course. As you very well know, Global Signature Course is the collaboration of the different schools under the Sintana group of uh, companies or schools. So this time, the schools that are grouped together is from Kalala University of Egypt, I think, then from the school of Miss Diana from Esa Unggul University in Indonesia, where Some of our fellow students from Mapua University School of Business will be joining you or going there in your university in by immersion, I think by this coming Saturday. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Those are Do you our, will come our to Jakarta? You, yes, you will come? Will be going. Yes, we oh, will you. Uh, yes. you also uh, oh. no, oh, no, no, not yet. Oh. Okay, not okay. yet. But probably sooner some Some also of these students attending here in my in our class will also be have the experience also to go to your university in the future. 
Oh, so, it's so nice. So, you're a very nice university. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. So, so, today we'll be discussing about the marketing science of consumer behavior. As you can see, everyone, for the students, especially in business course, the student in business course, especially those who will venture into marketing, it's always been discussed how does consumer behave? How do we buy our product? Okay, what are the process in buying those products? For example, you want to buy a new rubber shoes. What are the consideration set you have to think about? Okay, you want to buy a rubber shoes like Nike, Adidas, or let's say Converse. So what are the consideration set? What are the factors that you want to consider before buying that rubber shoes? So those are part of what we call the consumer behavior. And there's a science beside, behind it. Okay. It all start what we call the purchasing process, okay? Usually, as, as a customer or a consumer, we consider different uh, factors, okay? There is what we call the pre-purchase, okay? In international business, what we do is that, do we need this product here in our country? So, in consumer behavior, do we need this product, okay? Do we want this product? So we have to identify the difference between the needs and the wants. So a little bit of psychology. That's the exciting part of doing marketing. You know a little bit of sociology, psychology, finance. What else? You need to know about something a little bit about uh, economics. So that's the very exciting part with marketing. So here we want to know more of the psychology, the needs and the wants. If you remember, before you want to buy something, you determine, do I need that product? Do I want that product? Then from those needs, you search for possible solution. Will is this solve my problem? Will this solve my needs? Will this solve my want? Okay. And what are my considerations set? Okay. What are my considerations set of buying that product? I need that product or I want that product because of its color. I want that product, I need that product because my old shoes is already torn out, okay? Or my old watch is not already is not working anymore. So there is now the pre-purchase. Then from there, you have the purchase. Now, okay, I made up my mind, I'm going to purchase it. So what are my considerations? Where I'm going to buy it? I'm going to buy it in the mall or I'm going to buy it online? So... You decide now what are the retail channels. And then from once you purchase the product, the consumer behavior doesn't stop. You have what we call post-purchase habit or the customer satisfaction. They still remember anyone here, especially the student, the young student here. They still remember when you bought a product and after a few hours or after a few days, you felt that there's something wrong. Is there anyone who can relate? Anyone? Is there anyone who can relate that when you bought something about a product and then after a few days, I think I felt something wrong. Okay, I'm not satisfied. Or I want to return the product. Or I think I should bought the color blue rather than the color red. Or I bought the color green rather than the color blue. Or I bought the big one rather than the small one. Have you felt that? Anyone from here? Of yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, really? So that's part of consumer behavior. Those, what, those are what we call uh, post-purchasing uh, behavior because we on the market, on the business side, we part of us is we have also to determine the satisfaction of our customer because we have to understand that if they are not satisfied with the product, they will not buy it again. So there will be no continuity. So it's very important in a business to know the consumer behavior of our customer. So this entails now to what we call, let's have a few discussion. Okay. I would like to ask someone, maybe you can do the chat box or you can open your camera okay, to share. Okay. Three question: What needs or decide drove you to to consider 
purchasing those rubber shoes, those who already bought a rubber shoes recently. Okay? Then, how do you search for that information? The next, which rubber shoes were in your consideration set also? Okay, what other brand? Brand A, brand B, brand C. And then what criteria do you utilize to form that set? Maybe it's a rubber shoes. It's probably shirt. You bought a shirt or you bought a new car. Some, probably some of you already bought their new car. So what are those ano, drive? What needs or drive okay, to consider you purchasing that product? Anyone who can share to us? Any anyone? Any student? Okay, student, please share your experience. Who is a brave, brave student? <laughs> can share their experience with us. Who recently bought something? Okay, probably not a rubber shoes. Probably a shirt, a jewelry, a cell phone. No, most probably yeah, your cell age. Phone. You always bought cell phone. Okay. The iPhone 14. Okay. Anyone who can share? Okay. Someone in the chat box. Zaina. Yeah. So she okay. said, okay. Okay. Zaina. Okay. She first Zena, can, Zena. Yeah. yeah. Can you open your camera? Share with yeah. us. Oh, oh, and open uh, your microphone so oh, you can okay. uh, share okay. with yes. us. Yes. Uh, hi, Zena Sorry, I can't Choi. open my camera at the moment, but uh, okay. I can talk, it's fine. Okay, Zena. Uh, okay, sure. uh, so basically I really needed uh, some shoes because it's been a while since I bought ones. Uh, so I, it was a need, not a want, definitely. But I still wanted uh, a pair of shoes that I would wear a lot because, you know, shoes are expensive. So I have to think of practicality. Um, but I also wanted something that was trendy and that uh, people wore. So like well-known brands like Adidas, Nike, Etc. Etc. Um, so I figured out um, comfort, price, uh, quality, and the brands. Uh, the most affordable brands for me uh, would have been Adidas and Converse. So I did go for those. Uh, I picked something that was like a basic color, so that I could wear on everything, and that were very com uh, comfortable for me. So I could wear them without feeling like uh, I've regretted buying them in any way. Okay, thank you, Zena, for sharing. So, thank you. Thank you. From, that's from Esong Gul. Anyone from Mapua and Kalala University? Uh, I'm from Galilea University. That's, ah, Galilea. Uh, Galilea. Thank Galilea. you. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry, Zena. Sorry, <laughs> it's fine, it's my fine. apology. Okay, no sorry. problem. So, Zena, from Galala no University. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Okay, okay. So, we'll continue. Anyone from Mapua and from ESA? Uh, Santos, uh, Santos, I think Santos Rica. is, yeah, Santos Rica. Can you open your mic? Hey, sir. Hello. Uh, Santos, Santos, maybe you can introduce Santos. yourself first. Uh, hello, I am Rica May Santos, a BSPA student from Mapua University. And um, an example that I cited here is when I recently bought a Converse. Well, it's not so recently. It was way back in January. And I contemplated a lot whether to buy that Converse or not. Because um, I'm not the type of person who usually buys stuff whenever I see something that I like. It's just I buy it when I really need it. And I had older shoes. And when I started college, I felt like those shoes does not match the outfit that I'm going for. That's why I considered buying a new one. And fortunately, my grandmother gave me a Christmas uh, cash. So I had a, a budget in me. So as I was thinking of buying a new shoes, I can bust around the mall, around, around the, I, I mean, near our house. And there I saw the new Converse and I was thinking of buying one before. So I did buy it because it fitted my price range as well. I mean, budget range as well. Thank oh, you, Rika. Thank you, Rika from Mapua. Uh, last one. Anyone? From ESA? Yes, anyone from yes. ESA Ungul? Hello, anyone from yeah. Esa Unggul can give uh, another perspective. Uh, what is your consideration and how in the process when you will uh, buy some uh, product? 
maybe they're just warming up probably <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, later, yeah. On, later on we'll wait okay so we'll continue so thank you very much ma'am for that miss diana so the two ladies have mentioned something about their criteria set of buying those products so part of what we call the consumer behavior is we consider those different criteria and we use that different senses we have different senses also in buying products so one of those senses is when we use the sensation and perception. This is something to convey information. So we buy product based, based on what we use our vision and hearing, right? We identify colors. Oh, this color is the one that fits my style, fits my character. So that's the perception. That's the sensation or the sense of hearing, okay? We... We always dine into a restaurant or to a cafeteria where there is a music where the beat is so fast. Have you imagined that uh, anyone from the student or everyone here? If you're eating in a restaurant, sometimes the restaurant or the bar plays a fast music. That's part of a marketing strategy so that if you hear a fast music, your digestion also moves fast. The tendency is that you will order again, order another food again and again and again because the music is so fast or the beat is, is in rhythm with your uh, appetite. So the tendency is you will stay long in that restaurant and you will also buy more food. Okay. Another thing, when they want to have that sense of what we call a uh, romantic diva usually they play uh, they play what we call a soft or lovely music so that you can be more of what we call the romantic type yes so the question is so some can affect someone of buying something yes it can also affect if you go to the malls you will notice that they're playing some speedy sound or some pop music or some uh, what you call this a quick tempo music so that it can increase some, it can influence you. It can, what you call this, change your mood into something of uh, buying, okay? So those are the strategy of the marketers or the business in order to tap your, to change the consumer behavior. What else? Sense of smell, okay? You, know that you notice some of the restaurant, they have that very aromatic smells, especially even when you're outside. Okay, sometimes their tendency is to bring the chimney going to the street so that as far as 100 meters, you can still smell the aroma of the food. Yes, thank you, Zaina. Okay, they play trendy and loud music. Okay, so fancy restaurant, low and calm music, usually without lyrics, but it can now change your moods. Okay, even in taste, sensation and perception, okay, can distinguish brand brand from another. And also touch. Remember, you that silky touch, especially those uh, textile there in Indonesia, the batik. Once you touch them, especially for the foreigners, once they touch those uh, batik textile, uh, I, I want to buy this. Because that sense of touch, is it feels like this is very expensive. If I'm going to buy this product in my own country, this will be very expensive. So I just buy bought it here, buy it here, okay? Where it will, it was still at an affordable price, okay? Because once it has been exported to other country, okay, the price will be triple. Of course, there's a deeper what we call consumer behavior, the sublimal advertising, which we don't usually use as an advertiser. These are what we call the advertisement that are so fast if you notice if you're watching commercials tv advertisement radio advertisement there is something that are flash very fast i hope student here here also still watch uh television because uh if you want to pursue the marketing profession you should be aware of the different advertisement you should analyze the different uh tv commercial radio commercial Okay, since in Netflix, in YouTube, there's seldom, right? there's seldom a commercials, okay? Uh, but in television, especially if you're watching uh, TV series, there's a lot of commercial wherein you can analyze. And then you can easily, 
distinguish what are these sublimal advertising. This, these are advertising ads that are so fast, okay, because they don't want the consumer notice something about it. Although that's legal, something ethical, but they just want it to be fast so that they will have not been any question. Okay. What else? If you will notice, if you're going to watch what we call this, those who are uh, like, for example, the Miss Universe beauty pageant or the, uh, what you call this, uh, Miss World beauty pageant or something like sports, the, the what you call this, you, the sports about footballs, okay? If you will notice the advertisement there, they are keep repeatedly uh, exposed to you, okay? They're always repeatedly being played. Why? Because they want you to expose, okay? To make you familiar with that product so that when you are out in the market, you can easily recall the brand, okay? And then you can easily also pay attention on the content of the message, okay? So these are the very important things in consumer behavior, especially if you use different colors, font, okay, in order to make brand impression, especially when you're using the different types of what we call the learning memory and emotion, okay? So if you're familiar in your, probably some of you who have studying your psychology or have a psychology background, the classical and operant conditioning, okay? I know you are, you've heard about Pavlov. So Pavlov, dog, we're in, at stage one, Pablo is a what you call is a experimental scientist. Okay, thank you, Zaina. Pablo is an experimental scientist, a psychologist, but also wherein he took an experiment with his dog. Okay. So at stage one, he just showed the food to the dogs. And the reaction of the dog is that it drools when he see when the dog saw the food. Okay. Then Pablo did is that he ring the bells without the food and the dog does not react. So what the next things that Pablo did do is he ring the bell and place up the food at, in front of the dog. Okay? So during a continuous process, ringing the bell and placing the food in front of the dog, okay? So every time now that the bells rung, or Pablo rang the bell, ring the bell, the, pub, the dog will just came out and go to him, even though there's no food. So this is the similar process in what we call the advertising jingle. The jingle, jingle are the sounds you hear, the songs you heard, okay, for, from those different TV or radio commercials or uh, what you call internet commercials. So those are jingle. Though they are the one that keep on running in your mind so that you keep on remembering the product or the brand. Okay? So that's one. Classical conditioning. The other one is what we call the operant conditioning. Okay? This time, it's the psychology scientist schemer wherein he uses the pigeons naman to what we call reinforce behavior. Okay? Every time he use what we call the fixed ratio reward or what we call every fourth time or every end time, okay? Every time the pigeons go back to his sound, to his house or to their cage, he give them the rewards, okay? So this time, okay, the schemer used a reward untimingly. So there's no condition. Okay, uh, excuse me, Martin... As is conditioning as same as habit? Yes. Okay. If you continue doing what you are doing, okay, it will become a habit. Okay. So same also with business. If you're doing what you call this, doing, going to work, to your business early in the morning, start your business early and stop it, uh, doing it up to the late in the evening, that will become your habit also. So I know so many managers who start executive president who go to their office at 6 a.m. That's already their habit. Okay. So that their, what they call this, their uh, philosophy is that if I start early, I can do more things. I can talk to many people. I can talk, negotiate to more contract and I can get more profit. So that became their habit and 
mostly those successful entrepreneur managers okay have a that good habit okay so same with skinner if the subject or if the behavior is changed okay based on reward it can also be changed okay thank you martin welcome you're welcome so that's now so this is also the same with what we call consumer behavior we can change the thinking of the consumer we thought that okay that customer is already sticking to that brand let's say brand a we cannot change his mind no we still can change his mind depending on how we will okay change his behavior what are what can we offer to change his behavior to change to our own brand or to own our product that depends now on what we call maslow's hierarchy of needs okay we change our we change our behavior depending on our needs okay so for example sometimes okay, we are more focused on the basic needs the food water sleep clothing something like that okay this is the hierarchy of needs as we go old or as we age or as we mature we go to the next step safety and security okay friendship and love self esteem for example some of your student you're more on here okay you just want food and water you want money to buy food and water to get my an allowance to buy food okay to buy clothes the basic needs okay but sometimes when you already working you're more now concerned of your job security okay and then when you have your own family or in a relationship you want more the safety of your partner or your family okay you want also the sense of belongingness so you don't want you need more of you grow as you grow matured or you grow old your change or your needs changes same also that changes your consumer behavior that's why certain products are in line to this different consumer behavior okay you look at what we call insurance insurance financial insurance safety insurance something like that uh what else health insurance they more on here they tap your safety needs or security needs what else there are some some products who align their product to friendship to love are you familiar with the let's say from the product called uh uh you call this i'm sure you're familiar with the product nike have you seen the advertisement of nike or nike we pronounce it nike nike have you seen the advertisement of nike the advertisement about sports have you seen that the latest one i think it's an international advertisement okay have you seen that the something like about uh about self esteem right if you use their nike it if you use nike products it boosts your self esteem you work hard on sports okay you go more on a healthy living so that is now consumer behavior that is now marketing that is now what we call business companies uses marketing the science of marketing aligned to the different consumer behavior based sometimes on what we call the needs of the consumer that's why if you look at advertisement you look at the promotional gimmicks of those company it always aligns something here okay that's how they sell their products and that's how we buy their products okay you look at dove you look at those inter uh, procter and gamble product you look at those coca-cola products they tap any one of this okay uh hierarchy of needs so this goes now to what we call the cultural differences we have different preferences in terms of culture in buying their products in terms of class age gender ethnicity and nationality so we have different preferences so in terms of cultural differences filipinos indonesian uh Egyptian, even Malaysian or Americans have different preferences in terms of 
buying those products. So from this preference set, we can also be divided into social classes. Okay, the Gen Z have different preferences as compared to the baby boomers. Okay, uh, to Gen X or the Gen Y. So we have different preferences on that. As long as also in terms of age, of course, the younger people have different preferences as compared to the older people. So in cultural differences, aside from the what we call the consumer behavior based on the perception, memory testing, using the different uh, science in marketing, we also have aligned it to cultural differences. So our behavior also differ from our cultural differences. Okay, so I think that's all. So this is my reference in this discussion. Uh, Marketing Management, 6th edition, 2022, Sam Gage by Don Ayobusi. So once again, I'm Don from ETY School of Business, Mapua University. Thank you. Ms. Diana, your turn. Wow, it's so interesting. Thank you, uh, Mr. Don for sharing uh, the presentation, yeah. Uh, I think it's very clear, simple, and uh, uh, relate, yeah, for our daily activity. And so, thank you, uh, student. Uh, we allow you to uh, share your perspective, or if you have any question, you can uh, ask the question. Uh, please don't be shy. Uh, you are still student now. Uh, student is allowed to be wrong or make a mistakes or not uh, perfect, no problem. Even though your English is not pro no problem, is okay. Maybe my student is very shy because the the, the language, uh, Mister Don. Uh, are, are you? Uh, uh, what is okay. about your student? Is uh, uh, this is like a uh, use uh, English as daily language in uh, Philippines? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So most of the the and the next, second language for Philippines is English. So mostly hmm. the medium of communication for schools are English, ma'am. Oh, so everyone can speak English in uh, Philippines? Yeah, they're being taught since uh, grade one. From the elementary up mm -hmm. to up to college, so oh. those are part of their curriculum. English subject. Okay, okay, yes. okay. I think uh, in Indonesia is also English subject, but maybe uh, just a uh, uh, yeah, just a course, so uh, not a practical. So majority of our student is not uh, English speaker. I think I think is it. Uh, yeah, but it's okay, student. Okay. You are still okay. student, yes, okay. so yeah, allow to be yes. mis make a mistake or wrong or not good is okay. Yes. Uh, anyone yes. Uh, uh, have any question? Anyone uh, in mind? Any question in mind or any clarification? Or do you find yes. the subject topic something that interests you, especially those who will be moving to marketing? So. These are very important. Yeah, this is very important. Okay, Santos is asking about another example for conditioning. You still mute. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So Rika is asking, can you provide another example for the fixed ratio conditioning? The one we have is that for, I think that's the uh, pigeon used by the one also from a psychologist. That's one schemer, Skinner. Okay. So another one is, for example, okay. Let's say your parents, okay. Your parents gave you a money every week, Okay. Every week, your parents giving you an allowance so that you can use for your, uh, for your day to day. Okay, it's going to school activities, uh, errands or something you need in the school. Then came the semestral break. Okay, then came the semestral break. So your parents now will not give you money anymore, no allowance because it's a semestral break. So now mm -hmm. your behavior will change. Okay, your change because. Do you have no more allowance? So you cannot buy those things. So your behavior will change and your behavior now will adjust to the limited money that you have. 
So that's also what uh, what we call here advertiser or marketing people are using. Sometimes, for example, if you will notice, if the economy is bad, inflation is high, you will notice that some products go small. You have, will notice that there are sachet, there are small packaging of the product because the business now is adjusting to the limit, uh, to the limit purchasing power of the consumer. So that is now what the company or the business are also doing. They are now conditioning uh, the consumer or the buyers into that situation. That's that's what also happened to you. If the semester break come, you don't have any allowance, you will also adjust based on the availability of your capability or the number of amount of money that you have. Okay? Clear, Rika? Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, do you uh, teach like uh, digital marketing, something like more uh, uh, digital in marketing um, or in business? Digital marketing before, but we have another professor here who's also the one expert there. Okay. Oh. My preference is more on my experience uh, corporate and here in education is more on business to business. Oh, I'm more on the wow. business to business marketing. Okay. Oh, there's a question here. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. There's a question here. Uh, Martin. Oh, Choi already answered the question from one student. Is it very hot in the Philippines? <laughs> so <laughs> the weather is unpredictable. Rainy, hot, hot, rainy, rainy, hot. Okay. So that's why, ma'am. Uh, mm. But also to to get back to your question, ma'am. Yes, I'm more on the business to business management. Especially, my focus is on the general business. Okay, uh, ethics, good governance, mm -hmm. and um, salesmanship, marketing. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. So, student uh, 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 from Philippine or from Indonesia. Uh, uh, is it the weather? Uh, because yes, we are now uh, uh, the global warming. Yeah, uh, everywhere is hotter. Uh, the weather is not uh, good. Is it uh, what change in consumer behavior? What change in your consume uh, daily? Is it uh, something that change or uh, maybe uh, you uh, more aware to? Uh, change more vitamin, something like that, or anything that you change in terms of your consumption, uh, students, with the changes of uh, the yes. weather currently? Good question. Also from Kalala, I think there's also a yes. different weather there. Yeah. Yes, a uh, Galala. I think a uh, Galala, Galala, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 In my perception, in Egypt, is always hot, right? Because in Are Middle East. <laughs> is, is it correct, correct or not? Is it correct or not? Uh, Galala? Yeah, Zaina. Zaina gave us an answer. Okay. Very hot this week. Okay. So it's very hot. So the question of Miss Diana, any student, can, anyone, any can answer the question, Miss Diana? So there's a there's a good question here from Chester Jerome Choi. Yeah. And also from Zainan, the question of you, Miss Diana. I think she wants to uh say uh repeat your question. Okay, okay. Before uh, we respond uh, to the Choi, yeah, Choi uh, um um uh, message in the chat, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, due to the changes of the weather, everyone has become hot. Uh, is it uh, what kind of uh, consumption that you change uh, daily? Is it uh, something that uh, uh, maybe uh, you change like the product of your skincare, for example? No, you, you more care to use like uh, sunscreen? 
uh, as I know, because I'm also have like a small business in cosmetic, uh, sunscreen is more uh, like popular in Indonesia just currently. Yeah, because uh, I think yes, uh, everyone is more aware, more care gitu uh, with the uh, the change of our uh, weather. So what else uh, that you change your consumption related to the change of uh, our weather? Colder drink, oh good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. I, 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 yes, I just uh, googling uh, for hello, hello. Uh, can you explain uh, for our Indonesian student what is hello, hello? I think hello, hello is very popular in uh, Philippines, right? Okay, Rika, can you explain that or someone from the Philippines, from a poor yeah. Philippines, hello, can explain what Lena. can describe so, hello, um, hello, hello, hello in English is uh. I mean, the word halo in Filipino, when you translate it to English, it means mix. So halo-halo is translated as mix-mix. And the ingredients of the halo-halo dessert are ice, milk, um, sweet beans, some uh, bobas, and some syrup, and leche flans, and ubi ice cream, something like that. There's a lot of um, sweet and cold ingredients in one dessert. That's why it's called halo halo, and it's good for um dry seasons, especially when it's so hot. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How about Indonesian? Uh, what uh do you uh consume uh in terms of food or drink, especially uh with this existing uh weather changes? Hello, student. Please share. Please share your uh, perspective. If you are too shy to speak, you can uh, chat. It's okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I think I will. Uh, I I must uh, try. Hello, hello. When uh, visit uh, to Manila. Okay, I think uh, the question from uh, the response from sorry, I just uh, Choi Chester is uh, great. What up uh, the opinion of Indonesian and Philippine when it comes to trading or exchange culture? I'm curious. Uh, what do you guys love about us and what we can learn from you? Okay, anyone can uh, respond from Kalala or from Indonesia. What is your top of mind uh, when you uh, uh, about Philippines or Malaysia uh, or Manila? For me, actually, my top of mind about Philippines is Miss Universe <laughs> because many Miss Universe is, came from Manila from Philippines, right? So, for in my mind, as always, if uh, I'm uh, talking Philippines, oh, it should be a very beautiful lady like Miss Universe. <laughs> Is it correct Thank or not? That, <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for that. So anyone also from any student to answer that question? Yeah, anyone from any student to respond this question? Uh, uh, and I, I, I would like uh, to know from your perspective also what has come on your first mind uh, when we talk about Indonesia. Any Indonesia. student? Okay. Yeah, anyone that came into your mind when you talk about Indonesia? Aside from the Bali? Well, yeah. the beautiful yes. beaches there in <laughs> Bali okay yeah. I mean, okay for me I really find Indonesia the the place I the only place I visited Indonesia in Yogyakarta 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 Borobudur yeah, yeah. Borobudur yeah, yeah Borobudur is a yeah. very, very nice place there okay it's yeah. that it looks like you're in Peru okay? yeah this because is, this is one of seven water yes of those what you call those pyramid temples something like that 
Okay. Yeah. 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 And the climate that time I went there is not too hot and not rainy. So just oh. drizzling. So the weather yeah. is very very fine. So I really enjoyed that place. So. So that's really what I'm seeing when I heard Indonesia. That's the things that come into my mind. Okay, never mm-hmm. been to Jakarta, but Yogyakarta, I've been there. A very nice place. How about the traffic in Manila? In Indonesia, you know, the, oh, traffic is very crazy. <laughs> I let my student answer that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Can you student. answer anyone? The traffic in Manila? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you get now. You get now the answer, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. during the rainy days. Okay. Lots that of car. Is, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Okay, okay, so, so it's, uh, yeah, thank you, walking, student. Walking. Yes, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, students. Okay. Thank you, students. So, uh, is there anything okay. we can cover? Yes, or... or, yes, thank you. Egypt is okay. Oh, Same Egypt, Egypt is also. also strappy. Wow. Oh. oh, so everywhere there's a heavy traffic going on. Okay, so thank you, ma'am, Diana. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I think, uh, yeah, uh, if there is no other question or other uh, thing we need to discuss, uh, we can uh, close the session today. It's okay. 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 okay thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Diana, for me. Thank you, in behalf of Mapua University. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. uh, from Kalala thank University. You. Thank you, Esungul University. Thank you, student from Mapua yeah. University. Okay. Yes, Stay thank other. you. And we meet next week, yeah. Next week, uh, my turn to present. And I will uh, um, present about how uh, culture uh, uh, effect in consumer behavior and how uh, the brand, uh, especially for the global brand, can navigating the different culture. Okay, uh, I hope you all can join uh, for the next week session. Thank you very much, yes, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. See you next week. See you. See you. See you all. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Filipino. Hey.